Hello, welcome back to the channel and a happy new year. So it's the weekend of the first business scramble of 2024. Uh, this is Saturday, so it's the day before, and I need to get my Esprit out of the car shield bubble and uh, get it ready for tomorrow. And the Esprit's been in the car shield since probably the second week of December, I think it was. Um, and we've had, in the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of, uh, we've had three, three named storms come through. Uh, with winds gusting up to about 50 miles an hour or so. Um, I actually dropped it during that time uh, just for about an hour because it was, it was getting too much and I'd actually read the, um, read the instruction leaflet which I know is a good thing isn't it to read um, and that said that uh, it shouldn't be used in conditions beyond about 22 miles an hour um, but it seemed to stand up to it really well. I haven't had the car out since I'm hoping that uh, because of that sort of bulge down the side, because of how it's sort of sausage shape it becomes, then uh, it would have spared it from um, hitting against the car as the, as the wind rocked it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna turn it off, deflate the, uh, deflate the balloon, deflate the, 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 the car shield, and uh, see what's underneath, see what it looks like. Okay, I've just unplugged the fans. Um, it's starting to go down very slowly possible you can just about make out the movement of it and seeing it go down um, obviously I could undo the zips along the side that would make it deflate a lot quicker but uh, what I quite like it to do is to sort of deflate nice and square across the car because it's still very wet on the outside and what I don't want to do is get too much of that onto the car also got to figure out how I'm going to roll it up um, whether I'll just leave it on the driveway once I've undone it don't know Anyway, enough of that. I need to get the car ready for tomorrow. 